it smiles goofy to begin with. Let's start there. Uh, so that gets you going because I mean that's the first thing that you see is uh, his smile. So it's pretty goofy and just just how he goes about things. I mean he's just carefree, just having fun and uh, goofy all in one. He's a goofball. He really is. You know he he always has a competitive mindset no matter what what it's in. If it's in ping pong, if it's in you know anything, he's always competitive. But the the goofy side comes out of him every now and again, it's funny. Yeah, I guess, if you're tall and lengthy, I guess everybody says you're goofy. And a funny, hardworking guy, you know, just try to be the best team I can be, possibly. And then um, off the field, I'm pretty loose. I like to have fun, you know, hang out with the teammates, hang out with my roommates. There was one time when he came in, and he played, he came in the game, you know, he was like, well, daddy's back, you know, he's ready to go. So he's just, just stuff like that, you know, gets all of us going. It was a sophomore camp, and I told my dad, after the camp, I did pretty good. I talked to the coaches and everything, and I said, Dad, I want to be the tech quarterback at Texas Tech a couple of years. And then he reached over and said, you better get a lot better. My football field's way different, I'm more serious. I have fun in the game instead of practice. I'm crazy and determined and serious, but you know, it's always good to have a quarterback that can joke around with the guys and talk to them about anything other than football, personal problems, you know, girlfriend stuff, I mean, whatever. Just when I first got here, you know, there's so many quarterbacks here and, you know, they were all good friends of mine. You know, Michael was here and he was a good friend of mine and uh, they're all gone now, so it's kind of weird. We have a couple of new guys, you know, Tanner and Mike and those good guys, Mike Richardson, but, um, you know, it's just kind of weird, surreal to see how much can change in one year. You see all the coaches basically still here and all the players are really excited for 2014, but, you know, a lot of things can change in a year. Um, you know, last year was just, you know, competing against everybody. This year's kind of just competing against myself every day, not taking one rep off, just getting better every day and just see how it goes because it's all about getting better. That's all that matters. The first time I noticed it was uh, going to Midland for the uh, scrimmage that we had last year. Um, he had a notebook just full of notes and he's just going everything. He's doing signals in his head. He's doing signals to himself. Uh, you know, play calls and things like that to help him. And that's just what he did throughout all spring, which put him in the position uh, to, to become the starter, you know, uh, throughout everything that happened this year, uh, you know, to end the season on a great note. And that's just a credit to his work ethic. I'm off the field, I take academics pretty serious. So I'm, I'm taking a lot of hours right now and just you know, try to get all A's and a little high B's maybe, but off field become a better teammate, you know, get to know everybody on the team, just not a couple guys. Cause last year I felt like I only got to know a couple guys instead of, you know every single person on the team and you know, get to know what their family's about, where they're from, and just be a better leader. I make sure everybody on the team is prepared for Saturday. And that's either watching film, you know, getting with your coaches. So on Saturday, it's just having fun and doing what you've done ever since high school. Just have fun and play your game. I really believe he's ahead of his time. Uh, he definitely doesn't play like a true sophomore, and I, he's not seen like that in the locker room. And I think, like I said, it's just everybody just seeing how hard he works, uh, the amount of effort and everything that he does, that he puts forth. Uh, you know, he loves to play this game, and it's fun to be around him, and it's fun to be able to go out on the field and play with a guy who has so much passion for the game and who's going to lead you and put you in the best position, uh, you know, to be successful. I take pride in it. You know, some guys, I think, when they come to university, it's for a coach or stuff like that. But I came to Texas Tech because I love Texas Tech. I love the people here. I love my teammates, and I play for those guys and work for those guys every day. I get better each and every day because I know I have potential to be really, really good. And I got a long way to go, but just got to work hard.